bubbles burst for a reason. Bubbles can go on for years, right? And then there comes some point or some event which pricks that bubble. Correct. In 2007, because I was around, I was covering financial markets. I remember that was a subprime market. The moment home prices started dropping in the US, all these fancy bankers would, you know, package these securities as mortgage-backed securities and they were making huge money out of leveraging them. The whole thing came crashing down. Yeah. So it was the fall in the real estate market that pricked the bubble. Any sense of what could prick it this time? So the way I look at it, there are only two reasonable scenarios, outcomes. Like markets are all about probabilistics, yeah. right? So I can, in, I can simplify it for your viewers, mm -hmm. right? One is that the slowing economy actually has a tipping point and it goes into a proper recession. Okay. Right. That's first element. Okay. In which case, as you rightly said, the Fed will cut rates and come Let's to the cut. rescue. Yeah. Right? Okay. The second scenario is uh -huh. that yields keep rising, right? And it actually percolates into another financial crisis. Just so, very high yields. Absolutely. And because the accidents, like some of the examples we had around April or so when absolutely. these mid-sized US banks started failing. Absolutely right. Right. Okay. So those are the two only scenarios that I can see. Ah, the third okay. scenario is that we continue to muddle through, mm -hmm. right? In a very slow moving economy, global growth is weaning off, right? But there comes a tipping point yeah. where when the refinancing issues, the real estate issues in the US, yeah. right, actually cause a inflection point and we see these anecdotes come playing out in the US.